Welcome to Brisbane and welcome to this flight review. This evening we're flying to Sydney on Qantas's business cabin. This flight was booked as a classic reward flight, meaning that I pay my flight using 18,000 points plus about $60 of tax and surcharges. Now let's have a look at the lounge. The lounge is located up floor above security control. On the left, after the escalators. At the main entrance of the lounge, you will see a bar area to your left where you can order your favorite alcoholic drinks or aperitif. On the right is the main dining area, followed by the main buffet section where hot food is served. The lounge is huge and looks new and open. You will see a workstation next to the buffet area. However, if you're looking for a more secluded area so that you can finish your work quietly, this is in your spot. Head to the very inside of the lounge and you'll find the noise level to be so much lower than the outside of the lounge. And this is the spot that I'm talking about. You can sit near the window or just pop to the opposite side where you'll find a comfortable couch. This lounge is adequately equipped with charging ports, so you'll find charging your devices so convenient. Because I was starving, I quickly indulged in some appetizers with ham and bread, followed by some vegetarian curry with rice. The lounge also has a few shower rooms, and the bathrooms are also clean and neat. However, the food options aren't that great. After sitting in the lounge for more than two hours, I headed to the gate where I found that the flight wasn't that full. Then, boarding commenced with business class passengers and high tier frequent flyers being boarded first. Well, it wasn't exactly priority boarding, but there's just a dedicated lane for premium guests, where boarding of both premium and economy guests commenced simultaneously. It could be just how different gate agents handle things differently, because on my own flight from Sydney, premium passengers were allowed to board the plane first. The business cabin is laid out in a 2-2 configuration across 3 rows, with 12 recliner seats. If you are a Qantas frequent flyer, you will have noticed that I am on the older 737, which can be told by seats without IFE and the older window frame. The seats somehow look like premium economy on international flights. There is a tablet holder on top, seat pocket down below, and a pretty basic seat control between you and the neighbour. As I'm enjoying my pretty part to drink, let's have a look at the seat controls. You will see a recline button, back comfort function, which I didn't feel anything when I pressed it, and two controls for leg rest and foot rest. The leg room is also pretty generous on this flight. The headrest is also adjustable, but it's a bit hard to adjust it due to this age. As mentioned before, you can use this tablet holder for your iPads and tablets. You only have to install the Q streaming entertainment app, connect to the in-flight Wi-Fi, and you'll be able to view flight information and moving map and watch movies. Some flights, like my own flight to Brisbane, has Wi-Fi for internet streaming too. Just look for the Wi-Fi icon on your booking page in the app. The flight map that can be found in the Q streaming app is as sophisticated as those on the IFE system. You'll see info like remaining distance and time for your flight, as well as information on different destinations. More instructions on in-flight connectivity can be found on this card located within the seat pocket. As we were holding short for takeoff, I was lucky to see the Corner 787 with Yeming livery bound for Los Angeles. And finally, it was our turn. Soon after takeoff, it was time for supper. As you can see here, the tray table can be moved back and forth as well as sideways so that you can easily leave your seat if necessary. Supper was a choice among a cheese platter, chicken rice and tomato basil soup. And I went for this chicken rice which was served with XO sauce. However, the meal was served in a hurry due to the short flight time and the hot chocolate that I ordered didn't have much flavour in it. I've enjoyed our approach into Sydney so much since we flew over the Sydney city centre. We approached Sydney, flying over suburbs in northern Sydney, 
then Sydney Harbour where you'll find this Harbour Bridge and Opera House and finally over Sydney and Tempe and finally the airport Overall, this business class experience was up to standard, with a few flaws that can be improved, such as priority boarding. I wouldn't pay for this domestic business product because the economy class would be comfortable enough. However, using frequent fire points worth it because I was tired at the end of the day and I wanted a more comfortable seat on my way back. Please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time on another flight review.